Hey guys, this is Sarah V from Chainix. Welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will be discussing what are Chainix address books and how to use them. Firstly, what are Chainix address books? The Chainix address book is a function that allows the Chainix users to store and save multiple cryptocurrency wallet addresses and bank accounts for more efficient and faster crypto and ZAR withdrawals. How do you use them, you ask? Easy, let me show you. You'll need to head over to Chainix.io and sign into your Chainix account. Once you've signed in, navigate to the balances page over here. Identify the currency you wish to withdraw. Remember, you can add multiple crypto wallet addresses to each coin, and you can add multiple bank accounts to your ZAR address book. For demonstration purposes, I will show you how to add bank accounts to your ZAR address book and how to add wallet addresses to your Bitcoin address book. Let us start with Bitcoin. Click on Withdraw over here, or the Withdraw icon over here. Do note that in order to place any withdrawals, your 2FA is required to be enabled. If you have not yet enabled 2FA, please do that first. If you are not sure how to enable 2FA, please watch one of our previous videos over here. On the Bitcoin withdrawal page, click on the icon that looks like a book over here. That will display your Bitcoin address book. Over here, this is your address book. This will display all the Bitcoin wallets you have saved in your address book. Over here, recent unsaved addresses. This is where you can find all the wallet addresses you have previously successfully withdrawn to and which is currently not saved in your address book. If you wish to use any of them again, you can click this little arrow icon over here and the address will be inserted over here. And then you can continue to place a withdrawal. If you're not sure how to place a cryptocurrency withdrawal, then please watch one of our previous videos over here. You can also add and save one of these addresses to your address book by clicking this plus icon over here. You'll enter a name for this wallet address and select if it is a trusted address or not. When selecting trusted, this means you do not need to enter your 2FA to complete the email confirmation process when placing withdrawal. If this is not a trusted account, then click on save and there you go, the address is now saved. If this is a trusted account, click on the box next to trusted. Enter your password, your 2FA code, and then click on save. You will need to confirm via email that this is indeed a trusted account. Therefore, navigate to your email address. Over there, you'll find a confirmed trusted address email from Chainix. Open and read the email to make sure all the information is 100% correct. Click on confirm address. And there you go. Your trusted address is confirmed and saved to your address book. Please note that even though you have confirmed via email, a trusted address has a pending period of 24 hours before it becomes a trusted address. You can add new addresses to your address book too by clicking on add new over here. On the add address book entry pop-up, enter the address name, add the wallet address, select if it is a trusted account or not, and then click on save. Now that we've added some addresses, let's take a look at the address. Over here you can see the name. This is the name you gave your address. This is the wallet address. This is an indication if your address is a trusted address or not. Please note that if you have selected trusted but had not confirmed via email or it is in the 24 hour pending period, this will be indicated by this pending icon. Otherwise, it will either be a tick icon for trusted or an X icon for not trusted. This icon allows you to use this address. This icon allows you to edit your address. And this icon allows you to delete an address. Let's take a look at the ZAR address book. Navigate to the ZAR withdrawal page over here or over here. Click on the address book over here. If you have placed a ZAR withdrawal before, then you will see your bank account has already been added. If not, then let me show you how to add one. If you have, let me show you how to add another. Click on add new over here. You will enter the name, then the bank name. Is it APSA, FNB, Standard Bank? Enter the account number, the account type, and then the bank's branch code. Then finally, select if it is a trusted account or not. If not, then click on save. If you select the trusted account box, then you will need to complete the trusted account confirmation process, as previously shown in this tutorial video. Now that we have added a bank account, let's take a look at the ZAR address book. Over here, you can see the name. This is the name you gave your bank account. This is the bank of choice. This is your bank account number. This is an indication if your bank account has been verified or not. 
Please note that all bank accounts are sent for a verification process. It can take up to 48 hours to be processed. This is an indication if your bank account is trusted or not. Please note that if you have selected trusted but had not confirmed via email or it is in the 24 hour pending period, this will be indicated by this pending icon. Otherwise, it will either be a tick icon for trusted or an X icon for not trusted. This icon allows you to use this bank account. And this icon allows you to delete a bank account. There you go. What are Chainlinks address books and how to use them? Before you go, you're probably enjoying your Chainlinks experience, right? So much so that you can't help but tell your friends about it? Did you know you can get paid just for telling your friends about Chainix? If you head over to the referrals page over here, you can find your unique personal referral link. If your friend signs up to Chainix using your link, you'll get paid a percentage of the trading fees every single time they make a trade. It's a win-win situation for everyone. For more information regarding the Chainix referral program and how you can earn, please watch this video over here. Thanks guys for watching our tutorial video. If you like this tutorial video, smash the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, give us a thumbs up and please feel free to comment below. See you guys in the next one.